Hi, this is Michael from BinaryCafe.com with a Brainy Phase Project video. It's been probably nine or ten months since I've done a video here on the channel. When I started 2015, I had a New Year's resolution. I noticed a lot of people when I traveled, when I went to concerts, whatever, they were living the moment through their teeny screens, through their phones, through their cameras, and I was kind of doing the same thing. So I decided for the first half of the year at least to put the phone down, to put the camera down, and just kind of experience everything first person, you know, actually be there and live in the moment. But while I watched the channel, when I, I looked at the comments and stuff like that, because work was super busy, I've been focused on fitness, family, I've had a lot, we've been growing our business. It's been a really good year so far, but I noticed the channel's been growing quite a bit. I've got almost 3,000 subscribers, and now I wanna focus on the rest of the year for doing more videos. I noticed that the review videos are probably, well, they're definitely the most popular ones, where I've got over 100,000 views on some of those review videos. Sony's got a couple new cameras coming out. They've got the RX100 Mark IV camera. These teeny cameras are so powerful. The point and shoot cameras are wonderful. The new one actually does 4K, super high resolution video in camera, and it does slow motion at 960 frames per second. I'm definitely gonna do a review. I've got the camera ordered, and I will probably do an expert series for that camera. I've been thinking a lot about it. A lot of people wanna learn how to use this point and shoot camera. It's very powerful, but also pretty complicated. So I'm thinking about doing a whole expert series on that. There's also another camera coming out, the A7R2, super high resolution camera, does 4K video, it's a full frame sensor, really excited about that camera, got that one ordered as well. Everything on this channel is self-funded, buying these cameras for our business, and then I wanna share tips and tricks and how to use a lot of those features with you as well. So the channel's back up and running. I thought it would be good to get into the HX300 this camera is a couple years old and I don't have as many views on the videos that I do for the HX300 Expert Series, but I wanna keep it going because I know how important it is to a lot of you who have this camera. I really appreciate the feedback, the comments that you've given, and it seems like it's really helped you learn a lot about how to get into photography and some of those features. One of the questions I had a few weeks ago was how to do burst shooting or continuous shooting. So that's what I'm focusing on here. This is HX300 Expert Series number nine, and I'm gonna keep the videos coming here. Uh, probably do a video every week or every two weeks here, depending on uh, time, because I got a bunch of other stuff going as well. But this is gonna be good, get the channel up and running again. And with this particular feature uh, on this camera, jump into this, what you can do is you can actually take 10 pictures in one second really, really fast, or you can slow it down and you can take two pictures each second, and you can do up to 10 frames. There are some digital SLR cameras that allow you to hold the shutter button down, and you can just take picture after picture after picture. You're limited with the HX300. It can only write so many images to the memory card. Faster memory cards are better um, because it can write faster, but it does take a while when it gets done taking those 10 pictures for it to write those images to the memory card. You can still do some cool effects. Um, if you've got sporting events, if you've got high action sequences, you can do this continuous shooting mode. And that's what I'm gonna show you now. And there's also a cool feature, which is a tilt playback feature. When you review your pictures, you can move the camera and it'll advance forward or backward through those frames. And so that's just a cool effect that I like on the HX300. So let's go ahead and jump into this here. The first thing is in the superior intelligent auto mode, which is the gold icon, this doesn't work. You press the left button on the little pad there on the back and you don't have continuous shooting. So you need to go into intelligent auto mode, which is the green camera icon, and move over to the icon that looks like uh, multiple pages or frames, pieces of paper stacked on each other. And then you'll see an icon which either says high or low. 
And you can change the speed by pressing the menu button and then go down a couple items and you can choose either high which is 10 shots at a maximum speed um, or you can do low which is two shots per second. I like the high speed that just you know you capture more images um, especially for high speed. And then what you do is you hold down your shutter button and you focus, you hold it down halfway, and then when you're ready to capture the action, hold that shutter button down. Just keep it down until it takes all of those frames and then be patient as it writes those images to the memory card. It will take a couple of seconds for it to do that. You can also use this mode when you're in the PASM modes as well. So you do have the ability to go in and do continuous shooting and I do recommend that you switch it back to do the single frame when you're done shooting that. When you're reviewing your images, you press the play button on the camera, you'll notice that the image looks different because it's got those little layers, looks like pages on top of each other. And if you press the circle button on the back of the camera, you can tilt the camera back and forth. This is on the HX300 that you can do that. It's not on uh, the HX400 unfortunately, but um, you can do tilt playback or you can go in and you can expand by pressing down. It shows you those thumbnails and you can just advance through those or back up. Then you can hide the, the little thumbnails by pressing the circle button, bring it back up by pressing the circle button, and that basically allows you to do playback mode. Um, while you're in that playback mode, if you press menu, and you go down, there is the ability to toggle to turn off that tilt playback where it just automatically shows you all of the images one after another. I do prefer that little tilt playback mode and you do that again by, by going into menu and then just make sure that you've got that ability to group all of the pictures together and that enables the tilt camera left right to advance through your frames. So anyway, uh, welcome back. Um, back here on the channel and more videos to come. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.